Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's topic uh, for Excel is autofills. So what are autofills? So before we start working on that, let me tell you what autofills are. Autofills are that you don't have to do extra uh, or you don't have to put in extra efforts to type something which is in series. So for an example, if I just have to type number one here and I need to type the same value in some more tabs below, horizontally or vertically, all I have to do is just drag and then it does the magic. But then what about the series? How does it work? So this is a default thing that happens. But let's say we don't want the same numbers, but we want a series. So for an example, we want one, two, three, four, five, six. All we have to do is, do you see this? It comes up as autofill options. Click on that and choose the option fill series. And as we can see, it says one, two, three, four, five, six, or keep dragging it and it will keep giving you the numbers. The same goes uh, this side also, because we have already selected copy cells. Here also we just need to go for fill series and it will show us the numbers. And now all you have to do is, let's say we don't really need more than this, just keep dragging it and it will give us more numbers. So it's, it doesn't go only with numbers. The best part about this is that, let's say, we, because of some reasons, what we need is we need days. So we need days. And uh, all we have to do is just keep dragging it. And it will just give us the days for each week. So starting from Monday to Sunday. And then keep dragging it and it will keep giving you Monday to Sundays. But now let's say for an example, we don't need series. We need the same thing. So we have to do the same thing. Just right click on it. And just click on keep copy cell that will give us the same thing. Now, if you must have noticed, if you come up here, it is giving us more numbers. So it is smart enough to understand what we are trying to do. So let's say we click on fill days, it will come back. And we say with uh, weekdays. Then the difference is it will not include Saturday Sundays in it. So it will just come up with Monday to Friday and then again Monday to Friday. We go back, fill days, and it will include Sunday and Saturdays also. The same goes here. We can do the same by dragging it here and again dragging it further. So right now it includes Monday to Saturday. We right click on it and we just say fill weekdays. So after Friday it come back, comes back to Monday to Tuesday. Uh, so let's go back to something new and let's try the same with months so if i say january all i have to do is just drag a little down and it will keep coming back after december so it it's here december then i come then it comes back to january to october and if i want it till december all i have to do is just drag a little more so we have December here. If we choose this autofill option again here, you can see it says fill months, which is which we are already doing. And if we just want to go for copy cells, what it did is January to February, October, and it just copied the first two cells which we had on the top. Now let's come to the next thing, which is date. So let's say I type 2021 because we're sitting in this year, and then we type month and we type 21. So it's showing me the month, the date, and the year. I drag it down, drag it down. And it gives me the dates, if you can see that. Let's say we want to try some other um, format. Uh, for an example, today is 14th of July, 2021. Okay, let's do it here. So if I say 14th, July, 2021. And if I drag it down, it will give us the date here. Now, with this and this, there's a difference here. This is not smart enough to understand because there is no 32nd July 2021. So what we can do is right click on it. Right. So we don't have 32nd of July here. So that is a different thing. How to format the dates. Uh, we can discuss it later. All we have to do is right now is first August 2021.
do this and as you can see it is not smart enough to see the further dates now the other part about it is that we can do the same here with the, this date for an example and we want it like this simply drag it and it will give us the dates here click on it it as you can see it gives us fill months or it can say fill weekdays so it will only okay so for an example if we come up here and right now it's in, it is including the dates for all the days in the month right and let's say if i drag it a little more it is giving me fill years so instead of going ahead and changing the date this time it has changed the year if i select it again and if i choose fill months so instead of changing the dates it is going to change the months so starting from 7th 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th and after 12th it has changed the year again and as soon as the december came in here it has changed the date again so we choose it again and see what all options we have for auto fill we click here and now it says weekdays so uh, i click on that and what it does is if you can notice uh, after 19 20 21 22 23 24 20 so there is no 25th because 25th of july is a sunday and 24 july is a saturday so if we can see it is it has it is not showing us the date 24th and 25th so now it is showing us only the weekdays so Excel is smart enough to figure this out on the basis of the calendar it has. So just click on this once again and say fill days and it will include everything there. Every day of the month, including the weekdays. So this is what we have in autofills. It makes our work easy in everyday job because we work a lot on so many things. We work on so many times on dates. We need to figure out so many values for dates or for months and for days. We cannot keep typing it because it makes uh, it's time taking. It makes our job difficult. But autofill makes our job pretty easy. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel to just watch some more videos which might help you and me both. So please subscribe to my channel. Keep watching this uh, channel and my videos. Like if you really think that it has it has helped you a lot. And uh, have a nice day and please stay safe.